What's up, guys? Day three, we are finally on the final day of the competition. Um, what we're really looking at today is Cole's position because he is in that top five ticket to the games right now. He's about only six points away from second place. Exactly where we wanted him to be. He had a great day yesterday. We knew the legless would be tough on him, but he did exactly what he needed to do to stay in a spot to where he can be qualifying for the, the games going forward. Uh, Today is going to be tough, right? Like the nerves come into play. We've got a lot of factors, like as far as standards that we're kind of confused on still. Uh, but thankfully, Cole, like I said, is in a position to where if he just plays his game, doesn't do anything too extra, um, just does what he needs to do, he'll be in a great spot at the end of the weekend. Um, Jackie will be good for him. You know, as a bigger guy, the gymnastics will be tough, but we're really looking forward to the final uh, because he should really put on a show next to Justin um, and maybe a couple other strong guys on that one. Ring muscle-ups, really good for him. Squat snatch is great for him. The sandbag's a question for everybody, um, but it's really gonna come down to who wants it the most on that one. So that's, we'll bet on Cole every day of the week on that. <laughs> Still not awake. <laughs> Still need a minute. It's like 11 o'clock, huh? I know. Oh shit, it is? It's, no, it's 11.45. <laughs> it's like, uh-oh, <laughs> I need to start moving. Uh, bagels, fruit smoothie, How many fruit protein snacks? bar. I haven't seen you on any fruit snacks this weekend. It's been post one. Post one. Yeah, yeah. I can't eat it before. Maybe before event six. You want to know sugar. something? When we did the total for the CrossFit, what was it, quarterfinals? Yeah. But you hit your first lift, you hit your clean, and then you hit your bench. He's like, hey man, can you go over to my bag and get my fruit snacks? Middle of the workout. Um, I'm gonna worry about like efficiency on the thrusters, hopefully two to three sets on chest to bar, and just be smart, right? Because I don't want to get a lot of no reps on the thrusters, and yeah, I'll just, I plan on getting off the row pretty quickly compared to the other athletes, but maybe not first, and just, Smooth reps, and then I'll figure out the last 1K when I get there. So, you I did a couple times, yeah. Most painful one. Maybe, yeah. I'd say so. Event six also stinks pretty bad. So. I think, yeah. I think on the floor this is going to be the most painful one. Everyone's going to get on the rower close, and everyone's going to die. Yeah. Because there's like, right now it's 15 points from sixth to fifth and seventh, I think. So those guys in sixth and seventh are like they gotta kill themselves. Right. I think it's six, like I'm sixty points You're out. Fine. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Right. But everyone else that there's dog fighting fight. for that cut line, it's like fifteen points. So you either have to die or go home after this one. That's right. And they got they got that ledge at the end, so people are gonna be crawling over at the finish line. <laughs> At least the rower is like close to the finish line and not like the first rower that you're like start on. Yeah. And then you'd have like a 200 foot sprint to the finish line. That would have a reenactment of street in Dubai. Have you ever seen that video? Oh, yeah. <laughs>too bad a little frustrated but I'm excited oh I wanted to place top three on that and you know just watching everyone across the finish line in front of you it hurts but like just when you're that close what's the difference I couldn't push the rail I tried my hardest but I didn't kick until um there was 100 meters left I guarantee you the other people that I was right next to were able to kick earlier but we'll take that in the training it sucks but it's better to feel that way and get seventh on the event than 17th or 27th. So uh, I'll take it. It just it stinks a little right now. So after event, that was event five. We have a pretty cool leaderboard for the guys. We've got Justin on top and three guys who are all within six points, which is crazy because I think that's when people program these final events like this, that's exactly what they want to see because this one's going to be fast, it's going to be furious, and if you mess up anywhere in this workout, it's going to cost you a lot of time. So that means the guys that are kind of on the bubble that have to take some risks, they're going to be in a rough spot if they catch a no rep, if they catch a, uh, a miss on the heavy bar with the snatches. Thankfully, Cole's in a spot where he's very safe in the middle. So if he just plays his game, checks the field around him, he should be exactly where he needs to be. Punching a ticket to Madison at the end of this. Sitting third with 457 points. Cole Greasy! Cole, do something. In fourth place with...
I'm just saying, I'm not surprised. Yeah. I'm really not. I mean, I should have pushed that last event harder, but if I get a no rep on the sandbag or the squat snatch, it just, it's an extra 20 seconds on the score. Uh, I like threw it down, and it was like an inch away from the line, the judgment. Yeah. Yeah. Like, so I finished my last sandbag clean, and like, just like this, I was like, I swear, and go over the line. But yeah, other than that, I mean, I mean, I knew where the whole field was. We all got to the rings at the same time, starting round two, and after that I knew it was over, because I was taking all that they were, so. Yeah. You don't like emotions, do you, Cole? No, they'll come out of the games. It's a wrap. We did it. Syndicate crown is over. We had an awesome weekend, like, I'm still coming down off the high from Will's finish there. Like, if you guys didn't watch that, probably the best finish in CrossFit history I've ever seen. He jumped from ninth to fifth in one workout. Uh, he called the shot too. He knew he was gonna win that workout, which was so cool to see. And you know, the year the guy has had, the year that his family has gone through, you know, we've been with him every step of the way as we could, but it's good to see this happen for him as well. Like he's fought so hard all year long through so many different things. We're just so happy for him and to see him get another chance to go to Madison and show off his strength even more. That's what we're so happy about. On top of that, Cole, obviously a guy that we knew that we had really high expectations for coming in third and being on the podium as a rookie, as a 22 year old, like we couldn't have asked for more. And we only been with him for a few months this year. And the growth we've seen in him has been something we couldn't even predict. He's so coachable. Everything he does is exactly what he needs to do. And that's what he did this weekend. So it was great. Paulina had a great learning experience for the weekend. You know, she's just coming out of the scene like Cole. Um, so the more competition she can do, the better that she can get an understanding of what she needs to do moving forward. That's where we have to be. And obviously Tia, this weekend nothing more we can say there just dominant six for six first woman in history to do it um, we're just happy all around with how it went we're on to week two we have a ton of athletes at the max so we're just going to keep the momentum rolling um, and take it into madison as we go for the year thanks for watching